Alright then, uh, friends of YouTube. Right, I've changed the the block there for a ceramic for the two uh, drain outputs. Okay, of the MOSFETs. I've put some thicker, even thicker wire on. Okay, I've put some thicker wire on there as well. And uh, there's four outputs on this, but two outputs if you know how to be on either side. And I've soldered both of those two instead of one. <clears throat> and. Uh, that's all I've really done, and I've topped me all up from around there up to there. Can't go any higher because there's a hole there, so when little knocks and God knows what, I don't need leaking down the front. So I've topped it up with oil. And uh, anyway, now that I've done all that, I'm going to show you some arcs on just 20 volts, and the arcs on 20 volts are, are quite uh, dramatic. As they say, so here it goes. God, that noise. Just watch this get hot. Can you see how hot that is? The ends of there were glowing. See, that was just on 20 volts. I've just hit the reset button at the emergency button. But well, that was just on 20 volts, guys. It, that is actually a little bit less because it has to go through that circuit um, and it has to go through the the um, rectifier and it has to go through the, all the other rest of the circuit. So that would actually be around about 18 volts. And the arcs on 18 volts. That is normally what I use for a normal TV flyback, and the uh, that is what the arcs I get out of 30 volts, maybe more. So let's just have a play. Hold on, let me just move this out of the way. Don't like it too close, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to turn it up to sixty volts, guys. blown a MOSFET. Uh, it might be a Xenodide I've actually knocked out there actually because normally the uh, MOSFETs go they normally explode all over the place but that was 60 volts and they were arcs from 60 volts. These wires are not too bad they're a little warm. Yeah the capacitor's not too bad. But yes the uh, Quite an astonishing output. That is one hefty damn, 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 damn transformer. <laughs> I'm sorry about the, the uh, damn, but that is one beefy, powerful transformer. Or oh, should I say, flyback transformer. But yes. The good old home wound flyback transformer. See the PVC piping I've got around it just to uh, stop anything from arcing to the uh, 
the ferrite core just there. <clears throat> Let you have a look round. The odd bubbles coming up. There might be a little bit of air gap still in there. I would like to really get the vacuum system on there just to suck out any any air lodged in anywhere. But, uh, yes, I'm very happy with that. I certainly am. It's a bit of a crapper there. That any time I whack it up over 60 volts, um, some of the blows I could do with. Maybe changing the zenas to a higher um, current milliamps because I think there are 500 milliamps, I think, something like that. Or not quite sure, I'll have to look at the spec. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves, and we'll speak again.